Hi guys, Richard here, aka the Long Shot King, and I'm over on the uh, the Sporting Life website at the moment. Um, I was actually just reading this story about Special Duty. Uh, looks like she won't run in the Coronation Stakes at Ascot. Um, it's going to go to the Falmouth at Newmarket. So uh, you know that makes probably a lot of sense considering she had a, a hard race in the uh, the French 1000 Guineas, and also uh, you know the stewards at Newmarket do like her. So uh, sorry, that was a bit tongue in cheek. But anyway, um, you know, interesting that, that the horse is not going to ask it. <clears throat> anyway, what I wanted to do, the reason I'm on Sporting Life at the moment, on the racing section, is I wanted to show you uh, a neat little tool that I found. I don't know whether you guys know about this, but what we're going to do, we're going to come down here. Let me just scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to come over here to the left-hand side. I'm going to click on Big Race Entries. And we're going to go and take a look at uh, Royal Ascot. And the race I want to look at is the Wokingham Handicap. So I'm just going to scroll down a second. And you'll see here, I've got the Wokingham. So I'm going to click on that and open that up. And of course, at the moment, there's uh, 103 runners. So, uh, you know, of course, the field will, uh, will cut down a little bit quite shortly. But the interesting thing I wanted to show you about Sporting Life is this, uh, this little tool here called Head to Head. Now, I don't know whether you've seen this, but it's really, really very, very cool. And it can help you to you know, eliminate some of the runners out of the race uh, quite easily. So I'm going to click on that now, and I'm going to show you how it works. So what, we're in the head-to-head uh, -head -head now, and what I want to do is I want to, I want to just compare two horses. Now, of course, you know very well these six furlong handicaps, uh, the horses run against each other quite a lot. So I'm going to choose two horses. <clears throat> and the one I'm going to choose, first one is Barney McGrew. So I'm going to click on that one. Just looking for one that, that sort of runs in these races on a regular basis. Let's have a look. We'll, we'll take a look at this one, Genki. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on compare. And it go away and it comes back and it brings back the two horses and their records against each other. So you've got Barney McGrew here on the left and we've got Genki on the right. And you see here last time out, um, Barney McGrew was 23rd and Genki finished 4th. Now I think Barney McGrew actually finished last in this race. Uh, previous to that, back in 2009 September, Barney McGrew finished 2nd and Genki 11th. But what's interesting is the other three times that they've met, Genki's finished in front of Barney McGrew each time. So just looking at this snapshot, just this very quick snapshot, you can see that Genki has beaten Barney McGrew uh, four of the last five times that they've met. So that already tells you a story. But let's look at this race here, uh, the last race, the 2nd of May. <clears throat> I'm just going to minimise this screen. And if we look at this race here, and this is where Genki finished fourth. And yeah, Barney McGrew, as I said, finished last in this race, last of 23. But we'll go back up, and a couple of interesting things, I think, in this particular, this particular race. So, Genki finished fourth. The winner was Hawkeye Danu. Um, now, if you look at the weights, Hawkeye Danu was carrying 8 stone 1, and Genki was carrying 9 stone 9. Now, if you follow the racing quite closely, you'll know that Hawkeye the New finished second recently at Epsom. Very unlucky in running. Uh, I think would have actually won the race uh, with an earlier run. Although, you know, with, with the win at Bert Oliver, the saddle slipped quite a way out. But I still think that Hawkeye the New was, uh, was the better horse on the day. Now, um, if we look at the weights, Genki carried 9-9 nine, nine here, Hawkeye the New 8-1. So Genki was, uh, was giving Hawkeye the newest stone and eight pounds. Now, the other thing that I noticed about this race, just looking at it very briefly, is this one down here, Flipando. Now, if you followed Epsom, you'll also note that Flipando uh, won at the meeting. So the form's got a really, really solid look about it. Now, the interesting thing, Hawkeye the new is, uh, is currently uh, trading around about eight to one for the Wokingham and Genki is on the 10 to 1 mark. Now let's have a look at the weights for the Wokingham. So I'm going to go back over here to the, uh, to the big race entries. <clears throat> Scroll down, and I'm going to click back on the Wokingham again. And 
let's have a look. So here's Genki. Yeah, and Genki's going to be carrying nine stone four. Currently ten to one. And I know that Hawkeye Lanu is down the bottom of the handicap. Uh, let's have a look. Where are we? There we go. Here's Hawkeye Lanu carrying eight stone three and it's priced at eight to one. So basically uh, Hawkeye the new is getting a stone and one. So Genki is seven pounds better off for the the time that it was beaten by Hawkeye the new. Let's just uh, let's just go back and look at that particular race again. Uh, one second let me just click on Genki's form and it's this race here so I'm just going to click on that so there you go. If we look here, uh, beating a length and a quarter, three quarters and half a length. So, so Genki was beating two and a half lengths, yet it's seven pound better off, and it's a bigger price than Hawkeye the new in the Wokingham. Now, for me, you know that 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 just shows you by using this little tool head to head, you can see um, you know whether the horse that you fancy has got a chance against other horses. And we looked at this race, we were looking at Barney McGrew and Genki, but just by looking at the race, as I said, you know, these horses run against each other so much that you see other form lines. So, you know, we see the form line or, or the weight difference between Genki and Hawkeye the new. We also see that Flipando finished behind both of them, and that's come out and won since this race. So it gives the form a really solid look. So for me, I think Genki looks very, very interesting. All right, okay, 10 to 1. In, a, in what's going to be a 30 runner handicap is, is a bit short but um, you know I, I will be looking at Genki in a bit more detail closer to the, closer to the day uh, because I think that it's, uh, it's going to be potentially interesting okay you noticed here at this race um, slowly into stride ridden and headway a furlong out ran on final furlong so it's going to need some luck in running but even so, um, it, it, it certainly got a chance, and it's you know it should turn around the form with Hawkeye the new. Um, one thing we also need to take into account after the Epsom run of Hawkeye the new, you know everybody's going to be plunging on it because it, it was unlucky, it was very eye catching the way it finished, you know so strongly to, to just fail to get up. So I think that Genki could be a little bit of hidden value there. Anyway, so let's close that. And I'm just going to go back to the racing page. So I just wanted to show you that. It's a cool little tool, head to head. Um, if you've not seen it before, maybe have a play with it. And uh, you know, I hope you find it useful. I just wanted to point it out to you guys. Um, I'll be doing some more videos coming up over the next week uh, before Ascot starts. So watch out for those. They'll be posted on the blog. And I'll also uh, send them out on Twitter as well. Uh, and also, you know, if you've got any comments at all about the, the videos or any of the content, or if there's anything you want to see specifically on the blog, then just leave me a comment. Don't forget, it's uh, www.royalascotblog.com. Okay? Cheers, guys, and uh, really looking forward to Ascot next week.